Hi everyone, it's Sandy, and today I'm doing a book review on the book Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. There will be no spoilers, so if you haven't read the book yet, you can still watch this video. This is a young adult science fiction book that takes place in the future. It follows Katie and Ezra, who has just broken up, and on that very day that they broke up, their planet Carenza is invaded. There are spaceships carrying refugees that have managed to escape. Katie and Ezra do escape, but they end up on different spaceships. The story begins with the invasion happening, and that's all I'm going to say about the synopsis of the book, and now I'm going to to be talking about my thoughts on this book. I thought this book was fantastic. It's definitely going to be one of my new favorite books this year. I can't believe I didn't read it sooner. What's so cool about this book, and I'm sure most of you guys know about this, but it's told through files, instant messages, emails, etc. A plus for creativity and presentation. I think it was executed really well considering it's written by two authors. The plot was very engaging and action-packed. Lots of crazy things happened in this book that I did not expect. At first, I did have a little bit of trouble following what was happening at the beginning of the book. The main thing that I understood was that their planet was getting attacked and they were trying to escape. But then once they were on these spaceships, there were like a bunch of other spaceships. There are three spaceships that are allies and then there's another spaceship called the Lincoln that is chasing those three spaceships and trying to destroy them. It's like I knew what the Lincoln was doing but I was kind of confused about it at first. So it did take me a while to like start to understand what exactly was happening and what they were doing. The plot definitely hooked me though. I did not want to put this book down. Although this book focuses on Katie and Ezra, you do get perspectives from other characters as well. So so you get a variety of perspectives that interweave with one another to tell the story. I loved Katie's character. She's sassy, brave, and intelligent. Those are three things I love finding in a protagonist. Ezra was really sweet and loyal and I loved his sense of humor. Since Katie and Ezra were a couple and they have just recently broken up, there were a lot of funny lines between the two of them, especially when they were first trying to escape, when they were arguing and she talking about what an idiot he is and stuff like that and why they broke up in the first place. This book made me laugh out loud several times. When Katie and Ezra escape, I believe they go like a few months without talking to each other and then Ezra starts trying to make contact with her and then when Katie finally contacts him back, I love that they like started flirting with one another through their instant messages and emails and Ezra was just so sweet and romantic. I loved him so much. I love that they used to be a couple before everything that has happened and so it shows that they have a lot of history. In this book there is an artificial intelligence system called Aiden and Aiden is simply stated crazy in my opinion and quite terrifying too. Aiden is like the control system of one of these spaceships and can pretty much take control of everything. That's pretty much all of my non-spoiler thoughts on Illuminae. Now I'm going to jump into the spoilers. If you have not read this book, I suggest you exit out of this video or else you'll be spoiled and that is no fun. The story begins with Katie and Ezra being interviewed about what happened and it switches back and forth and I thought it flowed very well. And then when we get to the scene that Aiden tells Katie that Ezra is dead, I'm like, no, this can't be right because in the beginning of the book, they're interviewing Ezra about what happened, so he can't possibly be dead. I never believe a death in a book until the main character sees it for herself or himself, so I didn't believe when Aiden told Katie that Ezra died, but that scene did definitely make me be a little more aware of what was going on because it just really threw me off guard. So that was a surprising plot twist. Even though I didn't believe it, it was still very surprising. I want to talk about Aiden. This system is crazy. I just can't believe it, all the things that Aiden was doing. And then I'm kind of glad that by the end of the book, Aiden was helping Katie survive. And then you see that Aiden's starting to have some sort of feelings towards Katie. I think that's kind of weird. And just reading about Aiden and being in the perspective of Aiden just really makes me think. I had a teacher in high school who firmly believed that eventually robots will take over the world, so it just makes me think about that. I don't think it's impossible, it's definitely probable. I feel like we definitely have a long way to go before that happens, so I'm not too worried about it for my generation. The virus that has been like affecting a lot of people and basically turning them into like zombie-like creatures but scarier than zombies. Those infected by Phobos were so scary. It was terrifying. Seeing Katie talk about them was so scary and gruesome. I feel like if I was in her perspective, I would have just shit my pants. 
When we found out about Katie's mom, I wanted to cry. I noticed that Ezra would ask Katie like, how's her mom doing? Or tell her mom that he said hi and she would just completely ignore that question. And I was just like, something's up with her mom. And then we found out that she didn't make it and that was really sad. When Ezra finally came back, I felt a weight lift off my shoulders because it was such a heartwarming reunion between the two of them. Like Katie, she was kind of out of it like she didn't believe that he was there also did you guys notice some of like the names in this book especially for like the casualty list and some of the files with the names there was a file where a subject was afflicted with phobos and on that file's name it says laney taylor and i was like wow that's super cool and then when i was reading through the casualty list i saw a bunch of names that i recognized the authors included their own names on the casualty list i saw meg spooner which i'm assuming is megan spooner who is the co-author of These Broken Stars. I just thought it was super cool. That's pretty much all I have to say about this book. Let me know your thoughts on this book in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye!